Former U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton erupted after it was suggested to him the U.S. installed a corrupt government in Afghanistan as he began shouting over Sky News presenter Bell Donati who grilled him on Afghanistan. John Bolton appeared on Sky News to discuss the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, stating the mission was only to prevent a terror insurgency in the region and to defend the U.S. from further attacks. But Mr. Bolton was asked if the U.S. had not installed a corrupt government then the Taliban may have found it much harder to take over the country once U.S. troops left. Mr. Bolton furiously denied the suggestion before arguing with Bell Donati over whether the U.K. government would act any different. Speaking on Sky News, Mr. Bolton said the U.S. was never in Afghanistan to nation build and America's involvement in the region was to ultimately prevent attacks on U.S. soil. Musdanati then asked, but what about the nature of the investment and the nature of the intervention in Afghanistan? Had it not been a corrupt government put in place by the US could we not have seen a stronger defense against the Taliban? Could we have not seen it much harder for the Taliban to take over? A stern Mr. Botlan bluntly replied, stop. We did not put a corrupt government in place. Corruption has existed for a long time in Afghanistan. And here's a newsflash, under the Taliban corruption will still exist. US interest and NATO interest as a whole were to prevent a terrorist takeover, we DIDNT have to reform Afghanistan. It was probably a mistake to try. Mr. Bolton could be heard in the background stating how much risk are you willing to accept as Ms. Donati attempted to continue her line of questioning. She added the US did nothing to tackle Afghanistan corruption despite Mr. Bolton's protests. Musdanati then stated, the last speaker of the Afghan parliament, HES a multimillionaire because of monopoly contracts to provide fuel and security to US forces. The US certainly did nothing to stop corruption. Mr. Bolton said it was simply not true and retorted with his own question, how much risk are you prepared to accept for a terrorist attack on London? Musdanati pointed out she was not the subject of the conversation nor was she in any position of power to make such a decision. Mr. Bolton has been a critic of the U.S. withdrawal of Afghanistan as he feared the country will become a terrorist haven again. Speaking to Channel 4 News, Mr. Bolton branded Donald Trump and Joe Biden the Tweedledee and Tweedledum of Afghanistan. He told the program, I think right now the Taliban have their smiley faces on because they've had good Western public relations advice and they won't get back to slitting throats until everybody's out of Hamid Karzai International Airport.